180. Kim, you said a couple of nights ago that this would have been the toughest game that you'd ever played. It, it, it kind of proved that way, but 10-5 when you through to the quarter-final, so you must be really pleased with that. I am really pleased, um, obviously, to play in a quarter-final, big tournament. I'm happy. But yeah, I had just had to beat my brother, um, the person I love the most in this tournament, just in the world. Um, it is hard. Um, I, I really wanted Ronnie to do well. I, obviously, I wanted to win, but I wanted to do Ronnie as well, good as well. Yeah, it's hard. Mm. The hardest game I've ever played on stage, definitely. Was it hard to put those feelings aside when, when the referee called game on? Actually, uh, it was a bit easier than I thought because in the beginning I was like, yeah, go on. Uh, every leg I was like, go on, another leg, another leg in the pocket. And Ronnie was struggling, so that made it a bit more easy. Obviously, when it's a, it's a I say, 100, 100 average, both of them, then it's hard. If you both in doubles, trebles, then, then maybe the nerves got to you. And, um, yeah, I got a good lead, made it a bit more easy, but I was really nervous in the end. In the beginning as well, but yeah, in the end, especially in the end, really nervous. Your scoring throughout was fantastic. Eight 180s tonight and um, up over 100 average for most of the match. Yeah, to make a joke, Ronnie said yesterday in an interview, Kim hits 180s just for the fun. And I was thinking, just hit a couple 180s just to annoy him. And yeah, I had, <laughs> I had eight, so... You were I'm, hitting them for fun tonight. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm, when the first starts going in, I, I'm just like boom, boom. Second and third go in as well. I struggled the most on the doubles. Um, they were going good for me today. Um, that's what got me through in the beginning, especially in the beginning. And I'm happy with that. Yeah, I'm really good with. I'm happy with my performance and looking forward now to the next games. Yeah, that kind of performance can take you a lot further in this competition as well. Yeah, I know. I know. I just played my um, most difficult opponent, so. Um, even if it's MVG or Adrian. Um, I'm not going to say the, the um, average-wise is going to be more easy, but uh, mentality-wise it's going to be more easy for me. I'm just going to try to um, do what I do, hit 180s, hit doubles, hit high finishes, bully the opponent like I try to do always and, and enjoy the game again. Yeah, you can probably approach it with a different mindset of, of going out there and being more expressive. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Now even if, if you win, a, sometimes when you win a lucky leg, when the opponent misses doubles, you go like boom, just... Be there. Just let the opponent know you're there. And now, if 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 I was playing running and he missed a couple of darts, and I would take a leg, I would be like, oh, he must feel terrible right now. So when you have a different opponent, you can just play your normal style again. Just bully and then be aggressive. Um, after all, we're all on the stage to do a job, to win money, to do good, to show ourselves to the to the crowds. Um, you've got friends, you've got family, but when you're on stage, it's just you and the darts, and that's it. Whoever you play in the next round, Michael or Adrian, you've had some fantastic games with both of them recently. Yeah, yeah. They're both, obviously, they're, they're both brilliant. When they're on top form, I think only Phil can beat them when they're on top form. Um, so I'm going to have to do something special to beat them. I know that now. I knew that before. And I'm going to do my best to do it. I know I can do it. So just see on the Saturday. I'll be there. I'll stand there and I'll do it. We look forward to it. Well done. Thank you. One hundred and eighteen.